In this video, we will show you how to design positioning guides. Positioning guides help your dentist easily place an abutment, veneers, or temporaries in the patient mouth. But most common appliances are guides for abutments and veneers. They are created in the same workflow straight after completing the design. Positioning guides rest on the remaining teeth and hold the prosthetic during placement. After choosing the indication, add the guide from the appliance menu by selecting Positioning Guide. Click Scan if you want to scan models or OK to import previously scanned case from your PC. At this step, you need to design your restoration. In our example, we have chosen the custom abutment for the premolar. We will not go into details with its design here. But if you like to learn more, please refer to the videos on how to design customized abutment and a crown or screw retained crown. Pre manufacturing step and positioning guide sub step allow you to design the shape for your guide. At first, you can see that the Remove Undercuts option is enabled by default. To add or remove control points for adjusting the guide, click on the green line. This will help you to make your design more suitable for the main indication and neighboring teeth. Use green points to adjust guide's width and height. Use purple or blue points to move part along the tooth. To see the undercuts areas, please enable the Show Undercuts option. This will help you to make any adjustments for the insertion direction if needed. To change the insertion direction, set your view to the desired direction and change it using the Set Insertion Direction button. You can also reset the entire structure of the guide with the Reset Design button. In the Advanced Settings, you can set the distance for the offset from the guide to the scan and design. If needed to cutter for milling, you can apply drill compensation using the checkbox. Sculpt Substep let you change the shape with the help of scalp tools like Morphing or Smooth. You can also use other tools to make any adjustment to your design. In the Assembly sub-step, you can apply a screw hole to the guide and apply extra drill hole radius if needed. Enable Show Thickness Map option to see if there is a need for adding more material to strengthen the construction of the positioning guide. When you enter the ID tag substep, the Use ID tag checkbox is generated by default. You can disable this option simply by unchecking it. Choose a name for your guide. Set its position. Change font height and text depth. After the positioning guide is designed, click Next to save it and close to exit Dental Designer. We hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.